king with this hip hop thing. You had a fling. Me, I'm like holy matrimonies and wedding rings. Married to the craft, your catalog, I bury in the flash. Remind me of Jim Carrey in the mask. What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm guys a video on how to create a uh, signature, but um, it's not really creating a signature, as you see in the title, it's a signature technique video, and uh, this is pretty much on techniques to make your signature uh, worthwhile. So uh, right here is basically, uh, just, I don't know why my thing's doing that, it's just uh, a couple things that I've just sketched out for you guys in the beginning of this, and uh, I'm going to show you guys this techniques you guys can do, and uh, go on from there. But um, before I go on with this, you guys are going to need a couple things, and you don't really necessarily need them, but I recommend them highly. Number one is going to be Adobe Illustrator, and uh, I recommend you getting CC. If not, CS6 or CS5 will work. Excuse me, I like the hiccups right now. But um, I also recommend getting a graphics tablet. I say recommend rather than need, because you guys don't necessarily need these, but it's very highly recommended because... You can't really do the, this kind of pressurized stuff on a uh, mouse or trackpad. And uh, graphics tablets are really nice to have and work with. Like you guys can do, uh, see how I can pressurize everything and then I can just draw pretty much whatever. So uh, this is pretty much uh, really nice to do. And uh, I recommend getting one of these. If you guys are one of the kids that cannot afford a uh, expensive one or a nice one, I will leave a link in the description for a cheap one. And uh I know cheap to some people is like five dollars, but cheap like in graphics tablet world is like eighty dollars, some a little bit below. But I'll probably find the cheapest, nicest ones that I can get, and then I'll uh, leave a link in the description for all those. So uh, you guys can go check that out. Also, the one that I'm using will be in there. So uh, now that I got that out of the way, you guys can pretty much uh, open up Illustrator with your tablets or with whatever you're going to be using, and uh, go to your top right here and go to Touch Calligraphy. And uh, it's the bottom one right here. If you guys don't have this, what you have to do is pressurize your brush. So uh, in the link in the description, I'll just link you a uh, video on how to pressurize your, brush, pressurize your brush. I did this a couple tutorials ago, and uh, it's very effective and very helpful for people that don't have this uh, setting. So uh, right now, I did the initials S and M because I have no reason why. It was just I was originally doing the word uh, style, but... I think writing a word out for this tutorial is too much. So uh, I picked an S because I like drawing S's. I think they're cool. And then M because my last name starts with them. So uh, basically what you want to do is just start off on a plain, clean uh, document on Illustrator. Like this. So uh, now that you have this, you're going to pretty much start out with writing down your word. And there's going to be five steps to uh, making a signature worthwhile so uh, step one is rewriting or writing out actually what your uh, word is or what you're gonna be doing so let's just say an S and then M and uh, it doesn't have to be anything fancy it doesn't have to be crazy it has to be legible and uh, step two is pretty much uh, figuring out how you want to do it so just just write uh, one and then two two is for the M one is for the S so you just rewrite that out and then the third and fourth rule for this is going to be rewriting the letters downwards, but um, changing the style each letter. So that is the most important thing is changing the style each letter. If I just draw S, 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 that's, it's just like, it's nothing. So you're going to pretty much change the style each one. So you can just draw like, let's just say an S right here. Like can pressurize, like go hard, let go a little bit and then go back in hard. And then you can just draw like lines. And then you can just pretty much mess it around with, uh, let me just redo that. You can just mess around with, uh, settings and stuff like this. And, uh, I'm not going to go too in depth on this, but, um, you pretty much just have to rewrite them and then make change styles, change the way it curves, uh, pretty much just rewrite your letters over and over again. Um, obviously if it's a bigger word, you're going to need more numbers and letters. So we're going to do this for both. Let's just say I do this for that. Um, and that's enough. That's I'm gonna change that though. So you have your letters. So uh, this is pretty much where you're gonna figure out which one you like most, and then you're gonna rewrite it a couple times on the side. Let's just say you like drawing like this. I drew a really nice one earlier. All right, there's an S. So you like, say you like drawing the, the style letters. So you're gonna draw this, and then just draw your M next to it. Like that. So your two letters are next to each other. And then you're going to look at it. And then just kind of redraw it a couple times. And like 
changed it a little bit. Add stuff, take away stuff. See, you see how I do that? I just keep like taking letters and then just kind of morphing them a little bit on each one I do. So this is kind of a practice technique. So uh, another way you can do this to practice these, um, let's just say you're in school and um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those kids that kind of just like excel in certain, uh, certain it's called classes and I kind of just sit there bored out of my mind and just kind of doodle on my paper while a teacher talks over me or talks over while I do absolutely nothing. So uh, what I do is I just grab like a clean piece of like loose leaf paper and I literally just sit there in the margins and just draw letters like this. I'll just draw like an S and I'll be like, all right, and I'm like, what else can I do to it? So I can take it and then I break it into sections. Like I notice there's like a circle here and circle here. So I have to have those two curves, but if I pop up and then curve back down, those two circles are still there. They're just different sizes. So you see how I can just like take these and morph them, but they still mean the same thing. But um, I also can go on Google and type in like graffiti tag letters and then get like references and stuff. Like this one, I got it from my uh, reference. It's like this, and then it's like the other words, whatever, whatever it is. But um, pretty much just practice over and over again on creating your letters, and then you'll have this. So this is the five-step golden rule. Number one is writing out your word. Two is writing down the numbers to get your word. Three is rewriting all your letters over and over again and then changing them each time. So that's three and four. And then five is picking out what you like the most. So uh, that's pretty much what you want to do to keep this going. And then you want to make a new layer after that and pretty much start your start your designing. So uh, you just want to take it in the middle and just kind of draw one first. So just you draw your S and you draw your M. So uh, let's just say you have your first two letters done, your first word. You're not going to want to add anything else except for your letters, and then you want to keep it here. A uh, cool thing about Illustrator is you can actually take the paths and move them away from each other and then put them back. But personally, I just keep them the same. Oh, what happened? Is there a undo button? Undo layer panel. All right, I'll just redraw them. Alright, so you have your two letters. So a cool thing about Illustrator is you can just take the paths and actually drag them in. But um, once you have these two plain letters, you want to start adding things. So uh, let's just say you have the word uh, sum. Alright, this is a big word. Not a big word, it's four letters. But uh, it needs more stuff. It can't. You can't just render it out like this. Um, A cool thing you guys can do is add like bars and stuff. So I'm going to go back to my original two letter thing to show you guys and uh, a cool thing to add on words is quotation marks and uh, if you make any signature and put quotation marks on the side it's like 10 times more badass so I think it looks so much more nicer and more graffiti like I don't know how to explain it so uh, my pretty much idea my tip of doing this is you want to take the inside bar of the quotation marks because you know a quotation marks like this right so you want to take the inside bar and make it bigger and then smaller and then do the same thing for this. All right, so it's like bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, and it just adds something to it. So, well, the next thing you can do is just say you can throw a bar like this under. Actually, you can take the even take the quotation marks down and throw a bar, and then like change the style. But and you don't want anything touching yet. Nothing touches. So, uh, you can just take this, and then you guys can throw other stuff. You guys can just say throw an asterisk. Uh, right here like that you guys can put like a crown um right here so you got a crown and you guys can pretty much just doodle and stuff um some letters let's just say you have an s an m you can add like little dots and stuff right here just create something cool and then you just like add little lines and stuff. But um this is pretty much you're gonna keep adding stuff and uh let's just go back to my references that I did before. You see how I have other stuff and uh you can pretty much go from there. Let's just say we hop on graffiti tags. So pretty much you guys can look at these, you see how the S's they're all different and then there's just like certain things you can do. This guy has an arrow that goes up and like exclamation points, so you guys can even do that. You can just draw your letters.
Oh, that's a little too big. Yeah, so you can just draw like little arrows and stuff like that. Um, pretty much you guys can experiment with this yourself. You guys can go on Google, find some references. This guy puts a line in the middle, so you can just draw. Actually, I don't like that much. But you guys can pretty much just draw. You see how just, I don't know how to explain it, just like add stuff. Google is always there for you. It is such a good reference to go on and just pretty much see stuff. So yeah, there's two lines. So uh, it's pretty much what you want to do. So uh, your, your references from Google pretty much and uh, your pretty much your mind. So uh, it's all I can say really is the techniques is remember the five step golden rule of making a uh, making a signature. So uh, before I go and talk about a, like a little something off topic, I want to show you guys some more. <laughs> There's uh, other kind of ways you guys can do uh, signatures. This is just a basic way. See how there's just like more extra stuff. So I'm going to keep scrolling through these and talk. So um, basically, you guys are not limited to doing anything. There's always different style pretty much signatures. And you guys just have to figure them out yourself. So let's just scroll back up. Let's just say you're not a fan of the graffiti tag scene. There's also... Ah, uh, oops, ideas. There's also like cursive ones, like this is a wild style one. Uh, not, it's not really that cursive, but it's like more of a uh, abstract one. So, excuse me, there's more that you guys can do. You see how it goes smaller, bigger than smaller. So uh, it's pretty much just like whatever you want to do. You can just put like smaller, bigger, and then smaller, and then like draw from there. So, uh, it's pretty much just adding stuff, taking away from stuff, and, what am I at, F 11 minutes? I'm talking over myself a lot. But, um, basically, it's just adding stuff and taking away from stuff. Uh, you guys can mesh with br mess, with mess with brush size, excuse me, and uh, you can take your point right here in the top, and then put it down to, like, 0.5, and you see how it's smaller? So you guys can, like, change and stuff, so... So yeah, it's like when people write really fast, like you can write my name. Oops. Write like Garrett. And then you guys can just pretty much write like random stuff. And it's pretty much just getting used to a uh, tablet and getting used to writing. Let's just say you have like a pencil. And a pencil is usually what? 0.2 I think it says on the piece of paper. Yeah. So let's just say you're on a piece of loose leaf paper just chilling in school. Learning about some logarithms and algebra and trig and just chilling. Or in English reading the Crucible. <laughs> Hate that book. But um just chilling there and then you're on your you know, your piece of paper because you're one of those kids that just ha open your notebook and like rest your head on it. And uh just take it and put like, the line margins and then just draw like letters. So you can like draw your S. And then like, oh cool, and then you can take it and like change it. And then like, oh you can do this and then I can like change it like that. And then I can start like adding more stuff. And then once you get good enough, you can start adding more letters together. You, you can put like, the S right here and be like, all right, what's next? And then, all right, let's put an A. And then you can put an A. And then, uh, what's the name? Santa. So you can like go from there and go to like, N and the T and then go back to the A. And then you can cross the T. So uh, you guys pretty much get the idea. You guys want to practice this a lot. And uh, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. That's not a lie. That's not a myth. It is the truth. And uh, if it was easy, everyone could be doing this right now. It's not easy. You guys are going to be struggling with it in the beginning. And uh, letters, some letters are just not easy. Like some people have Z's in their name. I feel very bad for you because they're not fun to do it with. You're like, I, I just don't understand how you do Z's. It looks like I'm Zorro. It's like, there you go. But, um... There's just more you guys can do to this. There's more of a, a graffiti tag section. But um, pretty much you guys can go from there. I don't want to go too much on this. But uh, just practice and practice and practice. Loose leaf paper, drawing on it, totally the best thing. Uh, if you guys have just like computer paper stacks like somewhere. If you guys have Sharpies, Sharpies always work the best too. Because I think they're a uh, one point something. And uh, they make the thick lines like this. And you guys can just keep sketching. And, uh, it's pretty much the best thing they do. So, uh, I want you guys to practice this and, uh, just keep doing this over and over again. If you want more in-depth tutorials on signatures, like certain letters, certain names, uh, please let me know. Because I know this is kind of a, not a 
in-depth tutorial, but it's more of a technique. So uh, Google always helps you guys when you guys want to find uh, rough examples and stuff and rough uh, ideas. So um, just always mess with that. Uh, there's just more stuff you can have. Like this guy has a halo, asterisk, star, quotation marks. Um, what else? Let's just find something else. You can add that. Oops, what did I do? And then uh, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't want to go too much on this. So uh, basically, you want to keep practicing. Uh, never draw the same letter style over and over again. Like I, I didn't do it the same style here, but this one's different than this one. It's different than this one. They're just different sizes and different effects, I guess. So uh, basically, I'm not going to talk more. I kind of just talked over myself a little bit. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Every... 30 likes i'm going to be doing a free signature for someone so uh like this video right now and uh pretty much go in the description if you guys don't have a graphics tablet and go check out what i linked below this will pretty much help you guys get an idea of what you want for a graphics tablet and the holidays are coming up so you guys could ask for something for let's say christmas or birthdays uh what other holidays hanukkah uh that's all i got in my brain right now you can get it for halloween and a trick-or-treat bag <laughs> but um yeah, also, for people that can't afford this, and let's just say you have an iPhone, if you go out to the store and buy a $5 stylus, it works the same. You guys can't put it on Illustrator, but it will work the same in your notes or an app or something. So, uh, that's about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want a more in-depth one, uh, please let me know, because I will definitely do that. And, uh, just want to help you out, help you guys out. If you guys want more Illustrator tutorials, let me know. And, uh, that's about it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it and uh, check out Tutorial Hub because we're going to be launching very soon. Uh, we're actually figuring out roles and parts right now and uh, we're building up tutorials. So uh, the intro is in the beginning of the video. That's the first intro you guys saw. So uh, please go check out Tutorial Hub. There will be a little link in the top right hand corner. So just go click that subscribe and you guys will be enlisted in seeing our new videos all the time. So uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, 30 likes. Just pretty much someone gets a free signature, but you have to comment. There will be rules and stuff below. But uh, that's about it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys have any problems, questions, comments, or concerns, let me know, and I will totally help you guys out. I answer most of my comments, too, that are questionable to me and that actually make sense. So, uh, yeah, just make sure to like this video. Also, add me on Skype, Twitter, and uh, if you guys need opinions, just let me know on Twitter because just message me or something, and I totally got you guys. So, uh, 17 minutes, I'm pretty much done now, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to remember the five-step golden rule. Write your word or initials out. Write how many, like, write the number of how many letters there are, and then just sketch and change your letters, and then just rewrite your word, and just keep going from there. So, uh, 18 minutes in, and I'm done, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys in my next video. Peace out.